Coming up this election season on The Voter. I want to thank you both for being here on this two-on-one date. I have a really tough decision ahead of me. As you know, one of you will be getting my vote tonight and the other will be going home. I'm not sure how to choose and this morning's basketball game certainly didn't help. You see me, Duncan? Did you see me? Woo! Everyone needs a lift now and then, even the greatest basketball players. Can I steal you for a second? Sure. It's hard to watch Ken with other candidates. As far as I'm concerned, he's the most eligible voter of any election season. Undecided, resident of a swing state, over 18. My parents are very important to me. I want to support a candidate that will make them proud. Oh yes, Mike and Carol from the great state of Texas. They're true patriots. And they love you. Ever since those nice people from your campaign told them that every other candidate would come and personally take their guns away. And I love your parents too. And that's why I want to build a wall to protect them and their guns from our enemies at home and abroad. And what do you mean by build a wall? Well, walls protect us, don't they? Oh, sure, I guess. So the more walls we have, the better protected we are. A wall around the country, a wall around every home, and eventually a wall around every citizen. Well, that sounds extreme. I think you're building walls right now. Emotional walls. And those kind of walls never protect anyone. Is this a filibuster or can I step in? Uh, sure. I'm still undecided. When will Ken see that my opponent is making empty promises? He might offer Ken the moon, but how's he going to pay for it? I invite Ken to read this financial plan, which I've written. I want to be upfront with you, Ken. I'm here for you, and I think we have a connection. We're both in the 99%. What are the odds? <laughs> you know, as beautiful as your suit is on the outside, it's your compassionate heart on the inside that really gets me. Gentlemen, whenever you're ready. Okay, uh, how do you want to split this up? Oh, well, considering I didn't order anything. Let's each pay our fair share. That works. How about we go Dutch? But I didn't eat anything. You didn't even offer me a bite of your pies. Yeah, well, that's for your own good. No one wants a sugar rush. You know what? I'll just charge it. Got my kid's credit card. <laughs> They'll eventually have to pay this off. Waiter, more pies to go? Yes. For me. Who will Ken choose to spend the next four years with? Find out next week on the final episode of The Voter. When things really heat up. And Ken gets screwed either way. I didn't vote for this! Brace yourself. It's not pretty in there. God damn it, Donald! Just admit it! You are being a hypocrite! Ah! Election season can bring out the worst in people. Especially when voters are expected to stick by their principles and judge all candidates accordingly. Yeah, right. Like that's gonna happen. <laughs>